You can't start the next chapter of your life if you continue to reread the last chapter. Imagine you have to babysit a huge melon that becomes part of your life everywhere you go is just continuously attached to you if you go walking it's on top of your shoulder you're cooking it's peeking over your shoulder to see why you're cooking you're driving it's causing you trouble to drive you're running it's on your shoulder slowing you down you're shopping you're having a hard time to get what you want you're sleeping it's sleeping on you under you next to you anyone causing you nightmares are you able to do all these tasks yes you can are you able to do it effectively and diligently no you are not no you are not a walk that could have taken you few minutes is taking you hours to complete a cooking that could have been very delicious it all tastes crappy now a drive that could have been very safe you can have an accident any minute a success that could have been within reach now seems to be very far a sleep that could have been very peaceful is now all disturbed your ugly past is like that melon full of grudges failure mistakes unhappiness regrets anything that bad happened to you it's continuously breathing on your back and holding you down from shooting for the stars or anything good you could do in your life don't cheat on your future with your past it's over it's truly over past is just a story it does not exist what really exists is the sun the air or the roads or these opportunities that are available to you or anyone else whoever will unlock themselves from this cage of their ugly past will able to grab those opportunities now you have to decide we play a victim role in our past story and feel terrible for ourselves somehow we think that feeling bad for ourselves and playing a victim role will inflict the same pain on that person who has caused all these grievances in our life the reality is this person unaware of your suffering is living his and her life all happily it's like we are eating the poison and expecting someone else to die i can all day long talk about like not to think about your past just let it go and this and that but how do you move forward all right there's several ways to do it one method that has been used and tested over and over again is to forgive forgive the person who has caused you pain no matter how painful it is i know it's very difficult but this is the only way you can unlock yourself from the past prison and shoot for that greatness the best revenge is no revenge at all but if you really have to take the revenge the best way to do it is to move forward with your life and do really well and show to the world that it has not broken you down but made you much more stronger and mature your life is like a car you pay for it you maintain it you put a gas in it would you allow someone else to drive it for you instead of you and take it to the places you don't even aim to go to begin with of course not why do you allow your past to drive your life at your cost to the places that you're not even aiming at so take the charge of your car just like i did and guess where i'm going